Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've been here. Uh, we've had a lot going on. We actually moved states and moved into our camper. So now we're doing the camper life thing, um, but in a permanent spot for now because the kids still go to school. Um, we're thinking about homeschooling, but we're not sure yet. So we're in a permanent spot. And so now I have a storage shed as my inventory instead of the basement that I used to have. And I'll show my listing set up here. And um, today I'm just kind of here organizing because everything got messed up when we moved. There's a lot of stuff in bins that I just had to throw in because we were behind schedule moving. Um, and we had tenants for our house because we're renting that out. So I had to leave on time. We couldn't just stay a few extra days. So here is a little tour of the storage unit and kind of what I'm doing. And I'll do a what sold at the end of this video. Hi guys. Today I'm here organizing my storage shed. I'll get to the whole story behind where I've been and where I am now eventually. <laughs> but anyway, this is all of my inventory now. Um, my shipping stuff is over here. That's kind of messy right now. I have all my clothes hung up still. Three full racks. Well, two and a half. I got the bottom over here still. And then all my hard goods are along this entire rack. Books are right here and right here. I'm about to go through this bin right now. Some of the stuff we moved. So some of the stuff I just had to kind of throw into bins because we were really behind schedule on moving. So I've been organizing it now uh, today and a little bit at a time since we got here. Got a shoe rack here and I got two shoe racks in the back there. I could probably fit another one right there and I probably will eventually because I have some boots that are down on the floor down there. Um, it's kind of a tight squeeze and I hope soon that I can get another storage unit because I'm going to need it. Um, I'm also thinking about purging my inventory again, at least the hard goods, because like some of the stuff in bins one through, I'd say one through 10 is pretty old and it hasn't sold. And so even though I just went through all my stuff, I think I was being a little emotional about it and I need to just not do that and get rid of it because it doesn't do any good sitting around on a shelf. These bins are some more shoes that I don't have room for yet or, well, that rack has a little bit of room, but this is pretty tight squeeze to get through here. I always just wear my socks because I don't want to step on any of the sleeves that are down here. Um, this is why I need another storage unit, the clothes. I, I'm going to be still growing and so this is not going to work forever. <laughs> um, I'd like to be able to take this rack out, honestly, move this one over and have another storage unit for everything. called cactus brand um, and it's got this like all over print to it and these cool little buttons so I did get that this was a nice find I don't know how much it'll go for being so little but it's a Victoria's Secret um, I don't know what you'd call it if it's technically a bralette or not but it's a hundred percent silk and this kind of surprised me it's a Miranda Lambert shirt and this particular tour shirt, actually there were zero listed and three sold. So I did grab that. And then I found these Eileen Fisher sandals that are really nice. Um, for Friday, maybe I can go through a few of these if I can dig them all out here. I found these Merrells. Nice little leather, leather clogs. These I got at a yard sale last week, the Timberlands, for a dollar. Um, these came from the thrift. They're Teos. Uh, I never really heard of this brand, but it has a good sell-through rate. These are Tahari Ballet Flats. And this style with this big embellishment does pretty good. These are Sorel. Got these at the same yard sale for also a dollar. Sorry about the sun. It's starting to uh, come this way for the day. These are Dan Post boots. Again, I hadn't ever really heard of that, but they are a very good find. All right, so I went thrifting today and I only found this small little pile here, which is rough. 
because I'm trying to list about 20 a day and the thrift stores around here are decent, but they're not great. So I'm probably going to have to start um, going to the bins, which is about an hour and a half from us, but that's okay as long as I do it once a week and then use the other stores around here to supplement. I'm outside today because like I said, uh, we moved into our camper. <laughs> it's a mess in there right now, just don't even mind that. Um, so now I list outside. I use this area for measurements and shoes. And this little hook right here is what I use to take pictures of clothes. I wipe it all down with spray before I uh, use it, obviously, being outside. Just to give you a little picture of our view here. Really nice area. Uh, we moved to eastern Tennessee to a little town that's kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I just wanted to show you the few things that I found today. And maybe a few things from Friday, too. This is like an Aztec sweater. It's got a really pretty print and on the pocket. The brand actually does okay. It's called Cowgirl Legend. So I did get that because it was a nice little sweater for fall time. This is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Stripey shirt, size large. These are all bread and butter, it's nothing fancy. This one was a pretty good find though. Um, I've never found this brand before. Matilda Jane. And it's like an embroidered, pretty tote bag. This. And these back here are Sunita clogs, which I just sold a pair of these. Plus these have like the chunky heel like people like right now too, which is nice. And down here, these I've had for a while, Steve Madden. The other one was um, packed away in the storage unit for some reason, so I just found the other one to uh, be able to list them finally. Tiva sandals. These are all just a dollar at the uh, yard sale. Same with these Tiva sandals and these Danskos as well. And this I got at, there's actually an Amazon bin store near us. Um, so we've been going to that on Fridays on their restock day. And I found this there. I won't go into detail with this book, but it sells for pretty good money. Um, it's a big book, so. Like a coffee table style book. I don't know if anybody would want that on their coffee table, but <laughs> you never know. And these I got the yard sale as well. They're kind of in poor condition. I already took pictures and realized I needed to do them more justice. Um, but this back patch wants to fall off. So I need to do a little more research on those. Make sure, first of all, they're not fake, since I know Coach gets faked a lot. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you a couple highlighted sales, um, either because they sold for good money or quickly or both. So I'll hop right into it. I didn't pick out too many. This is all from the last week. Um, this Knox Rose shirt, this is the second time that I've sold this, and both times it sold pretty quickly. So... Um, and $16.99 when I got it at the bins is not bad. Um, this quill I also found at the bins, so it was about, I think it was $4 is the most they can charge you for big blankets, like, at my, uh, at my clearance center, my bins clearance center. And this sold within about a month of listing it, and it had some faded spot, or a rip right here, that's what it was, that I had to disclose, obviously, on my listing, so... Still sold for $40, which is not bad at all, plus shipping. These Dansko booties, I didn't list forever because they have, like, these dents in the front of them. Um, and I show the condition really well with my photos. You can see the dents right here. Uh, but they still sold really quickly. I did lower the price because of those dents. They sold really fast within, like, I think a, two weeks of listing, maybe. Um, so watch out for Dansko uh, booties. Their clogs, like nursing clogs, sell pretty well too. Um, they don't sell for a ton. And you also have to watch for dry rot in this brand, just so you know. This was my husband's, uh, computer, actually his monitor for his gaming system. I just wanted to highlight this because it did sell for a hundred plus shipping. Um, and I never really look at monitors at the thrift store. 
And I know it could be tricky to like test it out, um, but just showing you so that you can keep an eye out because some are worth some money, especially the gaming monitors. These I got last week at a thrift store and they sold very quickly. They're very wrinkly in my picture. I don't even have a steamer, so if something's really wrinkly, I usually hang it up, but I didn't with these. Either way, it was modal, which is a really good uh, material that people like, and it's very like breathable and comfy and cool. So those sold really quickly for $22. This dress also sold quickly uh, within, I would say, two weeks. And I think part of what sold this is these two words, minimalism and lag and luck. Those two keywords are really good for this type of uh, dress. You have to look up on, if you just go to Google and look up lag and luck, you'll see what type of style you're looking for for that keyword. Scream masks, these rubber ones always sell quickly for me. Some are way more valuable than others if you find like vintage ones or whatever. Um, they say Easter Unlimited on the bottom of them. Um, this one was not vintage or anything, just rubber. And this sold, I think, overseas, um, if I'm not mistaken. So not a bad sale. I got it at a yard sale a while ago with the whole outfit for a dollar. And I actually kept the outfit and we're just going to try to find like a plastic mask for Halloween for my husband. So it worked out. These Birkenstock All Pros, um, I got these a long time ago and they sat in my death pile because none of this would come off. <laughs> uh, none of the, the staining or, and then there was a little chip here. I almost thought about not listing them, even though the footbeds are like perfect. Uh, but I finally listed them. I reduced the price significantly from what it could have been and they sold within one day. So I'm happy with it. They were sitting in my death pile forever. Um, these actually don't have a bad sell through rate either. They're very, this coach bag, this took about three months to sell, I would say, and it sold for my full price of $70. So I'm happy with it. It's a really little bag and I got it at a yard sale. I don't remember for how much. Oh, I forgot to put that in here. This I'm just showing because, first of all, it did sell for a pretty good amount of money. But second of all, sweaters are really starting to sell right now. So if you don't have your fall, winter stuff up, I would get it going. I mean, it's hard because if you still have summer stuff, you want to get that listed right now <laughs> before summer is all the way over. Um, or you're going to be hanging on to it for a year. I have quite a bit of summer stuff that has not sold. So probably gonna have to hang on to it till next summer. I do sell summer stuff during the winter. I mean, it's still warm in places like Florida and Texas, Southern California, that those places. So they just sell a lot less often, but my sweaters are starting to really pick up on sales. So start looking for fall and winter stuff if you haven't already. The last thing I want to show you guys real quick is my performance on eBay. So since we moved into the camper and, um, we're relying kind of on my income now too when we used to just rely on my husband's income um, because moving from New York to Tennessee the income is less down here but so aren't the expenses so it kind of balances out we've had quite a few crazy things happen we have two rentals up in New York and we had tenants that were late on rent and it just it's been really we had our insurance um, <laughs> premium renew and it threw me off of auto pay when my card expired and I had to put the new card number in. Um, so we owed like $450 this month on that. Uh, the last utility bill from New York, like there's just a lot of expenses right now. So we'll be caught up soon, but I've been really having to push on eBay and I wanted to anyway. We thought my daughter, my four year old was going to be in pre-K this year. So I'd be able to really concentrate on eBay. And unfortunately, we did not know that in Tennessee, unlike most other states, <laughs> uh, she can't go to school this year because her birthday is August 28th and their cutoff was August 15th. So we're actually looking at moving in the camper again and just either homeschooling for a while or finding another state that she could go to school this year or at least be able to start kindergarten instead of pre-K next year. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on personal life wise. But let's go over to this. So we moved 
right around this time. So I really, during all this, we were trying to get everything <laughs> packed up and put in the camper to move down here to the new storage unit. And it just, I wasn't listing. I just wasn't listing. And prior to that, even I was redoing my entire inventory because I had lost a few things and it was just, it was such a mess. We changed to hanging instead of bins. It was just really, really rough. So I just wanted to show you guys that consistent listing is the key to eBay. <laughs> uh, look at how up and down and up and down and <laughs> down and down it is over on this side. And then this is when we moved and I really started listing daily. Now, I'm not saying every day is a great sales day on here, obviously. But what, I, what I'm noticing is that it's leveling out. I'm not having the extreme highs and lows because, you know, I probably listed a lot on this day and so the next day I got a ton of sales <laughs> um, so and that's more what I'm looking for I'd rather have like steady income than have you know four hundred dollars one week and only two hundred the week before you know um, and I really want to increase my uh, sales in general anyway you can see right here what my sales look like um, they were way better last year when I was way more consistent when we had the shop and my life has just been up and down and up and down so but you do see this green here, which means I'm doing something right. And even over here, my impressions and page views and everything are up. So I'm just going to keep listing. I'm trying to increase to listing 20 items a day. That's been my goal for a long time, but I never, ever hit it. I, I hit it once in a while, and then the next day it's 10 items again, when I really need to start being consistent on 20 items a day. So I'm at about 10 items a day that I'm listing right now, and I really want to get to 20 soon. Not being able to send my daughter to school um, and then plus having issues with the school with my sons here uh, has really put a damper on things. I was so excited to be able to just focus on my business. You know, I've been a mom for 12 years now and I've always had like a kid at home. <laughs> I've never had all my kids in school at one time. So I was very excited for that and that was very, very disappointing for me. Um, and we cannot, cannot at all afford daycare right now, obviously, <laughs> uh, if we're struggling with, with the rentals and the bills and everything else. So, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And so I'm hoping to keep up on the consistency, both here on YouTube and on eBay, um, and just take you guys on the journey with us. So for now, um, like and subscribe if you like this video. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.